I'm a professor of physics at the California Institute of Technology, and I'm the chief scientist for the Voyager mission, which is at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In 1977, we launched two Voyager spacecraft to explore the giant outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and that occurred between 1979 and 1989. After that, the two spacecraft continued their journey to find the edge of interstellar space. Scientists is a very special job because we're always working on the frontier of knowledge. We're always expanding that frontier. We're learning something new about nature by going somewhere that nothing has been before or by looking at nature in a way that's never been possible before. I was always interested in what was new, trying to understand things, so I read a lot. I read uh, the Book of Knowledge, which was an encyclopedia for youngsters. I read Popular Science, old issues of Popular Science to try to understand how things worked. Uh, I built radios. Initially, I had a crystal set, it's not difficult to build, and, and worked my way up to a superheterodyne receiver, which was the state of the art at that time. It was during grade school when the Second World War occurred, and that's when a lot of science was done, uh, and the atomic age began. And so there was a, an incredible amount of presence of science in the community at large. I had a lot of fun doing anything I was doing, but I also uh, was the editor of the yearbook for the high school. I started my college career in a junior college in Burlington, Iowa, and then I transferred to the University of Chicago where I got my master's degree and PhD in physics, basically in space physics, because the space age began while I was a graduate student. Then I came to Caltech to set up a space physics group and that was 1964, and by 1972, I was asked to come to JPL, which Caltech runs for NASA, to become the chief scientist for the Voyager mission, which was to be launched in 1977. So that was my first major role at JPL, and it continues to be a role that I have as the Voyager spacecraft head for interstellar space. If you want to be a scientist, you need to know mathematics, so it's very important to take mathematics uh, and enjoy mathematics. But you also have to be interested in how things work. Often that interest is best developed by doing projects yourself, not just reading books, but actually going out and making things, building things, say building robots which can do things, or building various other kinds of kits that allow you to understand how things work and how systems work together. Because science is about understanding how nature works, how the world works. Uh, you learn a lot by listening to others, but at the same time as a teacher, by talking to others, you would then allow them to listen. So you also find that in some cases, you'll be the teacher uh, if you organize your thoughts so that in fact, the individual listening can learn. These are all very important parts of your life, whether you're a scientist or whether you're a musician or an actor or any kind of a job which requires interaction with people and creative activities.